This is a, a taste of reality about four guys that grew up in, in a certain way, in a certain period of time, who, with all odds against them, became successful. And you're listening to me, Barry Belson, WCFA Radio. We're in our 17th hour, locked inside the studio, and yes, we're still playing the same song. Oh, what the hey? I think I'll play it again. Here it comes, all you submarine watchers. Put down that girl and let it into the four seasons. Sherry, Sherry, baby, Sherry, Sherry, baby, big girls don't cry, big girls don't cry. Walk like a man, fast as I can, walk like a man from you. Uh, gentlemen, uh, who had the uh, the option on on the, the Four Seasons catalog mm -hmm. uh, had come to him and, and uh, wanted to do Mamma Mia, and we looked at each other <laughs> and we said, "Well, but that's been done." <laughs> and then we went to lunch with uh, Frankie Valli and Bob Gaudio, the two guys, the remaining operative seasons. I, I knew all about all the groups that I cared about as a kid, but I didn't know anything about these guys. I just knew the songs. A and they said we were never written about, which is why you've never heard about it. Why weren't you written about? Well, there was who cared about us. We were these blue collar dropouts. We got, you know, we'd get arrested as soon as we'd walk off stage. We were mixed up with the mouth. Sounds interesting to me. Got, and it, that was exactly our reaction. Wait a minute, guys. This isn't, th this is the story you want to tell. So, who started the group? Who got the bookings? Without me, it'd all be in the trunk of somebody's car with a bullet in your head. Yeah, from your friends. You know, it'd be nice since I was here before any of you. A little respect! For what? Getting 162 in the hole? Oh, you think it's easy running a group? Hey, sit down! Let me handle this. It's a lousy few hundred grand. We got something going here, but took a lot of work and a lot of years. So? So the group takes the debt. This is his problem. Why do we take his debt? Because we're not going to let it come apart. And the 2006 Tony Award for Best Musical goes to Jersey Boys. I knew it was good. But I, I had no idea that it would reach so many people in so many different ways. A friend of mine came to see the show and he said, you know, I think this show is going to be bigger than you guys were. <laughs> so I said, wow, well, terrific. Who's gonna help you through the night? Who loves you pretty mama? Who's always there to I'm having a great time. It's hard not to get up and dance in the aisles or sing along. It's involving, it's emotional, and it's the best evening I've ever spent in the theater, ever. When I walk into this theater, I'm a 60-year-old grandmother, and when I leave, I'm 16 years old. These kids are so incredibly talented, I don't even know where to start. I mean, they blow me away. Oh, 